Hey, Olivia here. I wanted to show you a few modifications to the seated hip piriformis exercise, which is usually done with both legs bent in. And I've always struggled with that position, even though I'm relatively loose in the big bolster piriformis exercise. Doing this version with both legs bent, I've always struggled with because my knees don't particularly like it. So I've just been playing around with using a block and also keeping one hip off the floor and I'm getting a massive stretch in piriformis different to the bolster piriformis. So I wanted to share those modifications with you here. Um, so the exercise done in its purest form would have both legs bent in like this. And the key form point we ordinarily use is to first get that hip down on the ground and then all the other things. But for me, doing that first movement, in particular the lower knee doesn't like that and you don't want to persevere with exercises that hurt your knees. So here's the way I've been modifying it very successfully. Using a block underneath that lower knee so it doesn't have to travel quite so far onto the floor works. This foot is grounded. The usual form is reach through with the opposite arm and hold like this. But what I've been doing is not putting this hip down on the floor at all, using the cue of lifting the chest along the leg and then by driving my weight down through that foot, the top leg's foot, and just sticking my bottom out or untucking the pelvis, that gives me a fantastic stretch with no discomfort in the knees at all. Then you do the normal contraction, which is to try and sweep that held knee away from the body. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop, take a deep breath in, lift the chest along the leg, push down through that top leg's foot, and then as you relax into the movement, you'll find you can get this hip a little bit further down towards the floor, um, but with, with this lower knee supported, there's no discomfort in either knee. And it gives me a very, very, very good stretch in this hip. Breathe and relax in that position. If you want to, you can also use a support arm here and add a little bit of rotation into the movement. So with this hip in free space, my emphasis on with driving through the top leg's foot sticking my bottom out or untucking the pelvis to get the stretch that I need. To come out of it, just rock off to the side and stretch the legs out to the front. So give that one a go.